Okay guys, the sea cheat uh, 6 meters. This is a length of 6.2 meters, a beam of 2.4, gunwell height of 0.7 meters, draft of 0.25, uh, weight is unknown, I can't find the weight for this, deck area 3.2 by 2.3. Um, it's pretty much designed for the commercial um, industry launching off the beach, crabbers and things like that. Uh, get 20 knots with twin 40 horsepower. Um, it'll take twin 60s with good fuel economy. Um, it can probably take a 90 to a 115 as well. Um, so it's super fast. Op there's optional extras on the boat with a, a wheelhouse or, or a, with a side door. Um, you're going to need um, um, a custom built side door. There's lots of options there. Uh, trailer. Uh, it's likely uh, three axles for this one. So it's obviously quite a heavy sort of boat. And you might get away with a tandem, um, but yeah, the um, the price is a little bit of an issue with this boat. They are really expensive. The build quality is super high. Um, it's they're sort of double the price of a, a similar mono hull. Um, however, if you for me for me if you've got the money, I would definitely go for it. Um, you get sort of um, a nice ride with them. You can launch smart and off the beach. Um, you know, it's like um, they're probably um, they're better with a side-on sea, not so much with a head-on sea. Um, but all in all, they've um, been around for 20, 30 years now, and you can sort of see the space on there for angling. And this is like commercial, got a pot hauler on there, um, different sort of wheelhouse arrangements. But yeah, I mean that is an absolutely fabulous um, boat and design, and would be absolutely great fun, I'm sure. So the next boat is a boat that's been around for a while. It's the Pirate 21. I think they call it the Pirate 22 now. And as you can see, it's gorgeous. 200 horsepower, um, loads of power. Nice little cabin for the um, you know when the weather's not so good. Um, it's got twin 90s for extra security there. Um, yeah, it's um, 6.7 meters in length, 2.3 beam, the draft of 0.33 meters, fuel 186 liter tank, C category um, C, maximum horsepower 250. Um, seven people, a dry weight of 1,350kg, so it's got a deep feet hole, good for cutting into the waves, it's got a grid system um, under the deck, and buoyancy, it's two layers of gel coat, uh, high density composite transom uh, to support that big old heavy engine, non-slip deck, closed compartments, lots of reserve buoyancy, and it's got some um, heavy duty alloy windows. Very expensive boat again, you're probably looking at 50, 60 thousand pounds. Um, a 200 horsepower outboard, you're looking at 21 sort of K. But um, yeah, this, um, you know, this um, would be a good fun boat, nice and fast. Um, if the weather turns snotty, you've got the speed to sort of to get in quick. Um, yeah, um, they've been around for quite a while. You could probably pick up a second hand one. Um, depending on how old it was and what the engine state was in for sort of a lot less, probably sort of like I don't know, 15 grand and you'd still get like all the sort of fun with it. So there you go, maybe best to sort of pick up a, um, a second hand one. Um, that's probably the way I would go unless you've got lots of money. Um, but there you go. Right, this is the Pilot House 20. That's a lovely little boat and it's good for on the rivers, good out on the sea. It's not so fast as some of the other boats but it's still reasonably quick. Um, so it's 5.9 metres long, it's got 2.4 beams, so it's very beamy. It's quite heavy at 1,500 kg. Um, you're going to need a tandem brake trailer with it. Uh, so it's designed for seven people, maximum load of 785 kg. Sign code we see, heavy duty fiberglass layup, solid hull, maximum horsepower 80. Okay, um, but you can have a 140 horsepower inboard option. Get a nice inboard diesel something like that, but there's loads of space for England there, nice wheelhouse, nice and side, design speed of 23 knots max, with a sort of an optimum cruising speed of 15, 15 knots, um, you know, and it's got lovely inside, and you know, um, they do optional extras, live bait tank, and stainless steel rod holders, and all that sort of stuff, and electronics, yeah, so all, all in all, um, you know, the very, um, very very nice boat that um, you can pick them up second hand probably for about 18,000 a good one sort of a naughty's one that sort of price they don't change that much internally or anything like that save yourself a lot of money um, might have to spend a little bit just sort of you know checking and upgrading all the maintenance make sure you don't 
lights works, window screen wipers work, stuff like that, spend a bit of money on cleaning it. Clean that, maybe put some new fuel lines in or a new steering cable. Um, you know, that's the sort of boat you probably want to have it at a marina. It's probably a little bit too heavy to tow. Um, a bit comfy, you probably want something slightly smaller to tow if it's in your backyard. But a nice boat to have, nice cab to get out of the way of the wind and the rain. Um, yeah, ideally you want it, you want it in a marina, but you've got all those extra costs. But you can see you've got a nice boat hook, sort of nice decks there, nice sort of finish they've got in there. I'm not sure, quite sure what that is, it's sort of a non slip sort of finish. And you've got like your ice, um, put your fish in there, put the ice in there. Um, or just stow your, your ropes and your, um, or your fenders and things like that. Um, so cost of this boat, I've seen a price brand new, 34,600, 2023. I'm not sure if, if the trailer is in that or not, but I assume that's the 80 horsepower engine in the boat. Um, but like I say, you can pick one up like that second hand, get like the Mark One or the Mark Two, which will be solid as, you know, might have a few scuffs on it, but we'll do exactly the same thing. I mean, virtually the same boat, save yourself a fortune. That one's got a nice copper coat on it, look. That's a single axle trailer, you know, it's on that one. Um, I would have thought a tandem would have been better for that. Here you go, one on the marina, look, or on the mud. And he's got his anti-foul on there. He's got some fenders there. He's got nice tarps over the back, so we don't all get shitted up in the um, in the back there. But yeah, real, real nice um, boat, that. Um, lovely days out on the water. And um, some nice windows there, look at that lovely, good quality there. Um, real high tension, sort of um, you know, good, good quality. Right, the Raider 18. Um, this is a, uh, a lovely little boat. Um, it's a bit smaller, 18 foot. Um, so it's 1600 kg brake trailer required for this. So it's a length 5.49, beam 2.13 meters, draft 0.30 meters, internal freeboard of 0.91 meters, weight of 700 kg. CEC again, six people, maximum load of engine 765 kg. So I've seen one for 34,000 with a 115 horsepower Suzuki, so it's going to be a flying machine with that. Um, so I think the boat only is 18,700. Again, you can pick these up second hand for about, I don't know, 10, 12, 14,000 pounds. Um, you know, one which is 10 or 15 years old, performed just the same. Um, yeah, this is Warrior Boats are doing these now, and they look at it, it's a smashing job. And um, but yeah, you, the previous boat builder, um, you know, you can pick one of his ones up second hand and just do exactly the same thing. Have a few scuffs on it. The trailer will be a little bit. Might have to sort of do um, a maintenance process on the trailer, but save yourself a fortune if you haven't got the money to to, to buy brand new. But it's always nice to buy brand new. Um, but there you go. You know. Um, yeah. So I think you can take this one's got an eighty on it, but I think it'll take a one one five. It's got nice tarps on it there, and um, and there you go. That's the Raider 18, a very nice boat. It's got sharp, um, deep V for cutting of those waves again. Very fast boat. And again, warrior boats. Now they do a nice array of um, fishing boats from 16 up to sort of about 20 foot, but this is the big end one they do. This is like a commercial one. Again, this would be half the price of the Cheetah. Um, and it'll be super fast, do the job, and um, it's 1800 kg brake trailer required for this one. Um, length on the trailer, boat on the trailer is 24 foot. So the length of the boat is 6 meters, beam is 2.3, draft is 0.3 of a meter, internal three board 0.66, so it's not as high as the radar, and weight is 650 kg. Okay, and it's got sort of like a um, center console sort of steering. Um, which is pretty good with a, with a cuddy on it as well. Loads of space. That's a single axle trailer. So, so obviously um, the weight is 950, so it managed to get away with it with that there. There's a battery there, I don't know what that's for, whether that's for um, the winch, something like that. Uh, but as you can see how it's built, look, the string is in there. And um, that sort of gets its strength. So pretty damn solid that looks like. Um, so yeah, that's that's the Warrior Six. That's the open open version just there. Um, like I say, it's cheaper than the Catamaran. Um, you know, it's got no no frills to it. It's like it is what it is. It's commercial. Do you know what I'm saying? But 
you know, it's, um, they used to do a 19.5 Fisherman. You might be able to pick one of them up a bit, a bit cheap if you want that size of a boat. Jenu, Mary Fisher 605. Now this is sort of geared up for the more, I would imagine, more sort of, um, what can I say, Bay of Biscay or Southern France, where the climate's a little bit warmer, possibly. But anyway, this this boat or Jersey or Guernsey or somewhere like that, where better, slightly better weather, but you get you get, you get nice, um, more of a picnic boat. It is a fishing boat, but it's more sort of bring the family along fishing with you. But quite expensive boats. Um, you can't fault the design of them. Do you know what I'm saying? They, um, yeah, they're sort of um, they're pretty, um, pretty damn damn good really. Um, and yeah, the Mary Fisher is um, something I would, um, I personally would buy. Um, but um, yeah, it's, um, it's 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 an option if you if you want that sort of um, picnic boat. Um, yeah, so it's like six meters long, and it's a 2.3 meter beam, and um, you can have up to like a 115 on it. It's got lovely, lovely internal finishing on it, and so that more sort of warmer climbs. We've got a sunroof in it. You know, it's a bit like a car with the screen wipers. Um, but don't get me wrong, it's um, a lovely family boat. I, I would like one. Um, right, Westport Pilot Six. Right, what have we got for the Westport Pilot Six? So it's 590 kg. Weight 5.2 meter length, so slightly less. So it's 90 horsepower will give you 32 knots, and a 50 horsepower will give you 18 to 20 knot cruise. 2.2 beam, category C for five people, and a 50% deposit will get you a build slot. So they do it in a center console version. Probably what a little visor where the wheelhouse is there, just to stop that wind and spray from getting you. Um, but yeah, that's a nice sort of option, sort of thing. It might be slightly cheap to have the center console. Um, and yeah, it's slightly, it's a slightly smaller boat than the other ones I've sort of just discussed, but it's something which is more, going to be more towable than the other ones I've discussed, um, and slightly easier to launch, um, and all those sort of things. Got some nice cushions there, and um, yeah, it'd be nice on a summer's day, just going out, doing a little bit of spinning, trolling for bass, or some, something like that. Um, and yeah, it's just another option, slightly cheaper. It's going to be um, slightly cheaper than, than some of the other sort of options this one's got a 60 on it so you haven't got a sort of you know get a massive engine on it that's probably sort of um, might suit the day angler so something a bit easier to launch um, because these boats are quite awkward to launch on your own um, but can be done no problems so this is the Cygnus this is something completely different this is like um, something you'd have in the marina this boat has been designed for sort of commercial anglers, sorry, fishermen, more in the um, like the Cornwall sort of area with rugged coastline where launching off the beach is a bit awkward where this boat would be moored in the harbour and they haven't got a cruise too many miles away to find deep water for the fishing and all this sort of stuff. So this is a very heavy boat built by Cygnus. This is the Cygnus 21. It's 5.85 in length. Um, draft of 0.53. It's a beam of 2.3. Its weight is 1.25 tonnes. This is the heaviest boat. Um, and it says 12 to 18 horsepower engine for it, but um, I would suggest probably like a 30 or 40 horsepower would probably do right for this. Um, cruise design speed of seven knots, um, so a slightly bigger engine, you might be able to squeeze a knot out there or something if you're pushing the tide. Um, so it's a prop from 12 to 16 inches for this one. And an engine you'd have with this would be something like a diesel shaft drive, um, they're, they're nice, nice boats to have in, in the marina if you're not too bothered about someone who's into speed and stuff like that. Like I say, if you live down in Cornwall and the deep water is only about a mile offshore, then you don't need a speedboat to get out there. Do you know what I'm saying? To do what you're going to do, and you'd have an engine like this, something like from Better Marine or or with Penny or something, something like that. this. Is this is a fishing version, and uh, they're lovely, well made, really sort of beautifully made. Um, you know, very sort of robust, you know, traditional sort of um, sort of pot hauler boat, and um, yeah, I sort of um, sometimes that's not all about speed, and it's just being out there, you know, just cruising along, and um, yeah, it's nice to have a diff the different styles of, of boats for different applications, but. If you need, if you've got to travel like 30 miles to get to your fishing grounds, it's not the boat. But if, you, if your fishing grounds are right on your doorstep, you know, then it's like something like this is more, it's going to be more sweeter. 
the sort of to, to use, and they are still very expensive. Um, I saw a nice one for about 15 grand recently. Right, now this is old school sort of options. Now if you can't afford some of those things we've been sort of discussing, this is a, um, a boat which was, came about in the roundabout sort of the 90s, I think, early 90s. And um, they sort of kick about, they're still there. They're well made, robust, and they just do a job. They're sort of quick, they're fast, they're 20 foot. They, um, you know, they don't, they don't bust the bank. And um, yeah. Um, 90 horsepower, I think, is the size they have on on this. It's six meters of beam of. I got here 2.18 to 2 to 25 to 2.25. Draft of 0.40, 600 kg weight. Um, so it's a planing hull, loads of deck space on them, gel coat, 18 to 30 knots max. Um, so with a cruising speed of 18 knots, you're looking about 12 liters, 2.6 gallon an hour. You probably pick one up, a good one with a with a, quite a new engine and. This out and the other probably from eight to ten grand, something like that. Um, you'd probably get an even cheaper one than that, but you'd probably be sort of doing quite a lot of maintenance on the engine and stuff like that. But they're just um, they are you know they're that size and they'll just they'll do a job. Um, and um, yeah, they've been kicking around for a few years. You might get one built now. There might be someone who would still do one for you because the design's still around. This is another good boat. This is another one from the same area, era, and um, this is a Harley Fishing Twenty built in I think Norfolk, I think. Loads of them built on, for on the rivers, but they're built really heavily, and they're, they're a heavy boat, and um, they're quite cheap as well. This is a real good example of this one here. This is on a single axle trailer, so we've got the rope fender around there. And um, this one's 6.1 meters long, 2.3 to 2.5 beam, draft of 0.56, it's a thousand kg weight, um, 70 to 90 horsepower, heavy duty layup. One like this, I think, I think that one there is for about 14 grand. Um, that's a real nice example of that one there, um, old style wheelhouse. But they are they're they're, they're, they're um, a big boat feel. You get a big boat feel, and you haven't got to pay the sixty thousand pounds up front. Do you know what I'm saying? You get you get all you get all that for a lot less. And this will probably last you another 30, 40 years. Christ, this will probably last you a hundred years. This boat is so well made, um, and they'll take some weather as well. Not that you should be out there in that weather. Um, but that's pretty much that's pretty much my review of my top one of ten ranked boats under and around twenty foot for UKC fishing. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, there's lots of different options there. There's ten boats there. Um, yeah, it's just if you've got the money, go for it. Get the best boat you can. If you can't afford it, but you really desperately want one, I would possibly look for something maybe which is like 10, 15, 20 years old, but it's still been built really well for the time and find one which has been really well looked after and just take your time keep looking keep looking keep looking until that white the one ticks the box so here we are this is my top 10 boats so i'm going for the cheetah cheap marine six meters i think they're absolutely fantastic boats i really do the pirate 21 is not far from it again excellent Orkney Pilot 20, I love them boats. Mary Fisher 605, I think they're um, expensive, but they're, they're pretty damn good. Warrior 20, okay. Raider 18, I think, is um, probably should a bit higher up the list. Cygnus 21 is one of my, sort of one day at my heart. Pilot 6 is a good option. Harley Fishing 20, one of my faves. And Alaska 600 is, um, is up there as well. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.